Now, every week we're going to try and break down certain myths about mm. cruising as well, because there are many myths. And uh, this one is, will I get tired of the food on board? Well, no, so oh, well, you do so if, if you have hotels, cruise, but not on a cruise. Absolutely, case. and this is this is the big thing, you know. And this is what we keep on saying about hotels and cruises. When you work out how much it is per day, you're often paying a lot more to stay in a hotel, and if the food is very limited, and you normally have to pay for it as an extra. With cruising, it's all included, you know. And on top of that, the variety is stunning. Oh, it is. You know, from these buffets where, you, where it's going to change every day, and they give you loads of different variety at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, through to a whole host. Certain companies, particularly like we've had NCL one before. You mentioned Celebrity Royal. Caribbean, they've got about 18 or 19 different op dining options often, yeah. you know. I mean, really food, incredible. food is one of the best things about any cruise, and I've been, I've been lucky to be on, a, I've done about 17 cruises, and mm. the food has always been Well, you mentioned Oceania recently, oh. didn't you, you know, and again, you go on there, and uh, it's incredible, red yeah. ginger and cookies oh, like that. Fantastic. Don't, I've really missed the food, you, actually. You will just, honestly, you, you cannot get possibly yeah. bored, unless you, you only eat rice, then you'll be bored in life generally. <laughs> you know. Now, the, uh, the next uh, myth that we're going to break down next week is, is the dress code really formal? That's a good one, because I think, I know the first cruise I went on, I made a real uh, pig's ear of the clothes I took away. I actually didn't take yeah. any formal attire. And it, this still does differ company to company, yeah. uh, but it's certainly relaxed. Yeah. Anyway, we'll tackle that next week we for, in full, won't we?